All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, yesterday, I wasn't able to get it all done for. Um, you can see that the, the weather's a lot better today, um, but it's still really windy. Uh, I'm not really as worried about the wind as I was the cold because being out here in about 35 mile an hour winds with it only at 60 degrees, it was kind of uh, kind of chilly. And uh, I, I, you know, there's not very very much you can wear that you can get dirty. So I mean, like I don't have a jacket that I can wear. I'm kind of just using my my overcoat from work. You know what I mean? Let's hope they don't figure that out. <laughs> oh well, I'm only missing one anyway. So um, okay, well, what took me so long yesterday? It took me like an hour and a half to try and get the gasket material off the pan, and now the gasket material's off the block. So um, I wanted to let everybody know that. Uh, my differential did not drop all the way like I've heard everybody say that oh, yeah You can drop that diff you can drop that diff man. You guys are bullshitters, dude You know why it's because you have to drop that front cross member to get that diff to even move You want to know why is because the uh, diff mount on the passenger side hits the frame When you lower it, it'll get to a point where it just knocks into the frame. It won't go anywhere it won't go any lower so To avoid that you have to take off this front cross member right well uh, apparently my truck's been tweaked somehow some way and that bottom cross member does not want to come off notice notice how there are no bolts in any of these yeah there's no bolts because it's not bolted in so why is it being held in there uh, because it's tweaked somehow some way inside there and it won't come out so I couldn't lower it any any further um, so what I had to do was I uh, removed this cross member uh, both of them Basically not removed them. Remove the pitman and the idler, or the pitman and the idler, um, and then uh, remove that cross member right there, that stabilizer, whatever the hell that is. So uh, yeah, that's how I was able to get it out through the front. It was impossible. If I lowered the diff more, I could have gotten it out through the back, but the diff wasn't going to lower, so I had to come out through the front. And uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to try and wrestle this son of a bitch back in. What I'm a little worried about is the fact that it's windy and uh, the gasket material might set faster than than needed. So um, I'm going to try and wrestle my pan back up in there. Um, I am going to use a gasket. Hold on. Fell Pro gasket. I am going to use that even though it says not to. Um, uh, just the whole reason why is because I don't trust gasket with the rubber gasket material all that by itself I've had issues with it by itself before and uh, since then I promised myself no matter what gasket it was to never use it without any type without some type of uh, paper or it said this one's a cork and I've been told not to use cork so I don't know if it's gonna leak but I'd rather use a gasket than nothing so um, what I'm gonna do is try and wrestle my gasket on or er, wrestle my pan in there um, I'm gonna see if I can bolt the uh, pickup tube back it up in there, and then just kind of let the you know let the pan hang, and then do the sealant there. I'll try my best to do that because it's gonna be a pain in the ass. But um, basically, I have no other option. I can't you know put the sealant on out here, right here, and then try and wedge it up in there because then it takes time to bolt that that oil pickup tube and in that time that sealant's gonna set so the best way to do it in my personal opinion is get the pan in place with the gasket already like on it and then um, sorry brain fart get the pan in place uh, bolt the uh, oil pickup tube up and just let you know obviously the pan's just gonna be dangling down there and then once the oil pickup tubes bolted on then you can work with the uh, gasket material it's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit to get it but um, I'd rather work with tight fit than gasket material that sets too fast and it leaks again. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, you can see yeah, the block is cleaned up as best as I could. Um, so now I'm going to wrestle the pan back on. And once that pan gets on for, uh, what it says in the factory service manual is, is you bolt it up and um, let it sit for 30 minutes. Once it's all bolted together, let it sit for 30 minutes. Allow the uh, gasket material to set for a bit. And then after 30 minutes, it says you can add the oil back into the uh, truck. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully it goes well. I'll let everybody know how it goes. But um, this is for your guys' information just as well as mine. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. All right. Bye. All righty, everybody. Don't worry about it running real rough. The carburetor is just 
hunk of junk. So, let's see. I don't see it leaking. A little bit of wetness right there, but... That was where it was leaking. I don't see anything leaking now. Like I said, that's it's probably a vacuum leak somewhere. You can hear it surging. So, well, okay, let me tell you guys what I did. Alrighty, first off, you don't, what I don't want anybody to do is, notice those two bolts are not all the way in. They're because they're cross-threaded. I tried my best to line those holes up as best as possible, but they would not fucking line up. So we did our best, got the bolts to screw, like to actually start screwing in, but for, I must have, I bet you I cross-threaded them because they won't go in any further. Like you're really trying hard. So I cross-threaded those bolts, but I'm not really worried about it because I'm a solid axle swap this thing very soon. So as long as I don't wheel too hard, it should be okay. Um, secondly, when I put the pan back in, what I did was is that uh, what I suggest everybody do before getting the pan even up in there, like right when you're about to put the pan up to, 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 to mount it or even just in that general vicinity, put some silicone, the silicone on the, the block, at least, at least at the very back. Put the silicone on the very back of the block because that's going to be the hardest to reach. What we did was we slid the pan back in there without applying the silicone. I put the, I put the, um, they don't recommend you use a gasket for this year, but I still, I still used one. And so what I did was while the pan was out, I put the sealer all around the pan and then put the gasket on it. And then we lifted the pan up into here. But see, that was the thing is I forgot to seal the, the, uh, block. So, um. I suggest that you do exactly what I did, put the, the, the gasket on there if you're going to use one and then seal the block before you uh, put the pan up in there because once it's up in there, man, we were, I could not reach the back of that. My dad could not reach the back of it. We tried our hardest to get this thing uh, sealed off as best as possible. So um, that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it because um, once you have to, with, the way I had to do it was is that I could not, this, this cross member's tweaked, would not drop. So I could only get it so far. So, um, yeah, basically, that's what I had to do. Uh, the oil pickup tube was, had to be bolted on once the pan was in. So once that oil pickup tube was bolted on, then obviously, you know, we could raise it. But that's the reason why I suggest anybody doing this job put the sealant on the block first because once it was hard to reach around the oil pickup tube to get the, the gasket, all the material, all the way around the block. So, um... Yeah, uh, that's the final thing. I just got to push on, put on the splash guard. Right now, I'm kind of being kind of lazy. The wind's kind of died down, but man, today it's just been 65 mile an hour gusts. Uh, luckily, it's a lot warmer today, but I probably will end up getting sick from doing this. But um, you know what? Just take your time and uh, do it the right way. So I um, hope everybody enjoyed this video and uh, understand that I, I see a lot of forums online about this exact same subject it doesn't seem like everybody has a, a real fit answer for it it's like the answers vary from person to person so that's why I'm doing this video so at least you have a visual of what's going on in real time and not some pictures that you have to match up to your uh, engine so um, yeah enjoy um, I hope you guys are able to do it a lot faster than I was so <laughs> have a nice night